ladies and gentlemen, allow me to welcome you to How to Become the World's Greatest Celebrity Chef, created by Skull Mapping. Before we start, let me give you a couple of tips in order to get the best experience. Please, remove your personal items from the tabletop so that Le Petit Chef does not trip as he likes running around. <laughs> Place your napkins in your lap and make sure your plate is perfectly aligned with a magical circle of light. Please silence your phone so as not to disturb the other guests. And now, without further ado, allow me to introduce to you, all the way from France, Measuring six centimeters, the world's smallest chef, Le Petit Chef. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, oh, mon Dieu. There's always one bad apple who still hasn't figured out how to silence their phone. Oh, but encore une fois. Oh, oops, c'est moi. What are you looking at? It's not my fault that I'm so popular. Let's see. It says, How can I become such a master chef like yourself? Hmm, flattering. Honestly, I get this question like a million times. To put this to bed once and for all, let me give you four tips on how to become a great chef. Even if you don't know how to cook an egg, by the end of this dinner, uh, yeah, well, probably you will still not be able to cook an egg with what you expect. I'm not a miracle worker. But I'm sure if you pay attention, you'll learn a thing or two. Or at least you'll be able to make an interesting picture from your Instagram. Hashtag most amazing dinner of my life. Hashtag petit chef is so cute. Uh, okay, without further ado, pay close attention. Lesson numéro 1. Three words. History of food. In order to become a master chef, you have to study the traditions and understand where food comes from. Let's take something simple and common as the tomato. Tomatoes don't come from Italy. No, the first tomatoes came from what today is known as Peru. From there, they eventually expanded to Mexico, where they were cultivated by the Aztecs. The Aztecs grew tomatoes on chinampas, which were floating gardens around their capital city Tenochtitlan. In the 16th century, the Spanish conquistador Don Hernán Cortés arrived in the New World. The Aztec king at first believed Cortés was the returning Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god. When they sailed back to Europe, Cortés took tomato seeds with him. Finally, in the 19th century, an Italian chef created a pizza to celebrate the visit of Queen Margarita to Naples. He made a pizza with three ingredients that represented the colors of the new Italian flag. Red, the tomato sauce. White, the mozzarella cheese. And green, the basic topping. And so the pizza margarita was born, which was so successful that the tomato became a popular ingredient in many different dishes. So please enjoy this ingredient which made such beautiful travels over different continents. On a side note, we, the French, were convinced that tomatoes had powerful romantic qualities, and so we called them bon d'amour, love apples. So, if you fall deeply in love this evening, don't forget to invite me to your wedding, eh? Bon appétit! Hey, the third is a pure long tomato for you, madam. Bon appétit, sir! Thank you.